Hey guys, what's up? By uh, Sactatron here from One Hop Gazette, here with the next video, and this is not the war recap, it's just a kind of a preview almost to the war. Um, well, I guess you can see how it ended, but I wanted to show the top highlights of the war, my two favorite attacks. One is a Town Hall 11 v Town Hall 11 3 star, which is extremely rare in these CWL wars, and the other is a cool Town Hall 9 mass minion type attack. So both are going to be uh, very interesting to show. Um, it was a good war, good job to the Swarm. Uh, they had a pretty uh, substantial win, so uh, all around well played by them, and a good effort to Immoral Thieves as well. Uh, so we're going to take a look at those attacks, but I just want to say there will be a war recap, a full one, coming out either tomorrow or Wednesday, or tomorrow or Tuesday probably. Um, and then there's also going, because tonight's Sunday as I record this, and then there's also going to be some live base builds for you guys as well, as well as that Q&A, which you can still drop your questions for, and uh, they can still be included if you drop them on this video, or probably the next one even. So, uh, all that to look forward to uh, in the coming week ahead, um, in terms of videos, but this one is one of the rarest types of attacks we see in CWL. The Town Hall 11 v Town Hall 11 3 star has to be almost perfect. Now I'm not a huge fan of the base that Mu, the defend, or that Utom, uh, the defender is using, but uh, still, you know, I think it's supposed to be anti two star. He's not expecting a three star attempt, but Mu is going for it. He's trying to three star. Uh, has the king, or not the king, or yeah, the, yes, the king has his heroes, some bowlers. Uh, just doing a nice big kill squad. Wants to get in there. Gets the inferno. Gets the eagle. Gets one air defense. So still three air defenses plus um, that Inferno, and then all the other defenses maxed out for Town Hall 11. Definitely going to be a tall order. Uh, the Queen and the Warden get some pretty good value before they go down up top there. That one Baby Dragon is still alive. It's going to go over there and take out his Warden. So really, he's down to just those Balloons, and there's still a lot of base left up, but it will help that the Expos are all on ground, so that they're not going to be a factor. Now, that being said, the Baby Dragon in the CC is still up somehow, which is incredible. Um, it's going to go over and start wreaking havoc on the balloons. So you'd think his attack is over at this point, but he still has surprisingly a Lava Hound left up doing some tanking. Has that last haste. Great decision to do it there. So the balloons get in there, take out that air defense as quickly as possible. That was important. Um, the Baby Dragon eventually goes down, and the Lava Hound pops at the exact right moment to provide him some cleanup pups. Um, just that one Tesla left up over in the corner there has just enough balloons to get the job done. Uh, you can see, I think a group of like four heading over. One of them will go down, but the other three should get the job done. Actually, one, another one goes down, but two balloons to the left over. Um, just a few lava pups and a few archers, but that's how close these attacks are gonna be. Even on a, you know, an anti two-star base with a great plan, great execution, um, it's still going to be very close because Town Hall 11 is so lopsided in terms of the three-star potential uh, on a given attack. So awesome attack to move. First time I've seen this, I think, in a very long time. I don't I mean since before Miners got nerfed almost. That's how long it's been. Um, okay, let's move on to that next Town Hall 9 attack, as I said, uh, down to base 16. Uh, this is Thief. And uh, this one was a bit of a surprise because I haven't seen a mass minion in probably equally, if not a longer period of time. And maybe I don't get out enough or get in enough on YouTube. I guess getting out wouldn't, you don't see mass minion attacks on the streets or anything, but you guys know what I mean. I don't, I might not watch enough content and maybe I'm missing out, but this is the first time I've seen it in a while. And, uh, Pretty, you know, good execution. Just, uh, I'm not sure how big of a role the minions played because you'll see his queen walk is the star of the show. She's going to be the thing that gets all those air defenses taken out. I like the use of the king, just dropping him up top, clearing out trash, helping funnel the queen in. And uh, he'll stay up for a long period of time because there's very little point defense towards the top of the base. So good value for the king. Queen making her way in has the quakes to let her into the entire base almost. That has those three rages. I think he'll use two of them on her, as well as her ability, obviously, and then use that last rage on his air troops. Uh, so the queen's stepping up. Pathing is perfect. She's heading straight for those second um, other two air defenses. Now, I think he used five healers. I think he did, because that would be the right choice, in my opinion. You can see he already lost one to a Seeking Aramine. Um, maybe he brought four. I actually can't tell. I didn't 
Didn't see at the beginning of the attack, but the king got some great value. He will go down to those Teslas right there, uh, but he's done his job. Here come the Lava Hounds and the Balloons. Now, the minions are almost kind of a... There's just enough of them so that they can keep up with the balloons. You guys might remember way back in the day if you did trophy pushing, how the balloon minion was in a popular strategy. Same concept, just letting those minions get the value of the rage as they follow up the balloons. So it works out great. Um, just one more little patch of air targeting defenses. And you can see how many uh, minions and lava pups, they're kind of joining forces uh, with a few balloons out in front tanking. Uh, worked out great. Uh, probably could have gotten it done with balloons and just not many minions if he just added more balloons and maybe one more lava hound or something. But uh, you know, I still think it was a interesting thing to see and it definitely worked out well. So maybe this strategy can be used more. I don't know. I'd have to see it on different bases. But I'm sure the people at Immoral Thieves are going to be practicing that uh, now that it does have some potential in the game. So hope you guys like these two attacks. Just a quick highlight kind of video of the best attacks I thought were from the war. Um, and go ahead and do a war recap like I said which should be out tomorrow or the next day as well as those live base builds. So stay tuned. Once again good job to both clans. It was a great war and I look forward to showing you guys some more content throughout the week. See you guys in the next video. Bye Sectatron out.